With power knocked out in many places across West Virginia from heavy snows as a result of Superstorm Sandy, many families took refuge in shelters and churches and other places. Four-year-old Darius Payne woke up to an asthma attack as the power was out in Sissonville and Pocatelico, and so his grandmother and mother rushed him to a shelter set up at the Aldergate United Methodist Church. Yeah, he was wheezing really, really bad. I couldn't wait. We actually put the plug in over there, and they're like, honey, we've got chairs over here. And they came running up, help him, and they're like, is he okay? And I said, as soon as I can get this down him, he'll be fine. Yeah, we definitely got to invest in a generator as soon as I can. <laughs> But I can't go through this. We've been staying my sister, and uh, she came home today and said, uh, Alder Gay's church has got shelter and electric. And I'm like, we got to go. Maybe we need to bring the tree. But I was going to go knocking on doors if people had generators. I didn't care if I knew them or not, if he'd gotten any works. Well, it's been a blessing. The community, not only did the, our church volunteers come out, but as we opened up the center and started to serve meals, the people from the community came uh, to help as well. It really is a community effort. That's what makes this work. For dinner tonight? Spaghetti. Yeah, how many are you cooking for? Probably 50 people right now. 50? It just depends on how many wants to come out in the bad weather. So you've got people who are going to be sheltering here tonight? Then. Possibly. We have uh, Red Cross is supposed to send uh, cots in. So if they want to stay, don't have a place. We have showers, food, Wi-Fi. So far it's been the medical needs and then the, and then a little bit of warm food and a warm place to hang out with folks in the midst of the storm.